The following segments in today's episode of Del Marva Life are brought to you by the Ocean City Department of Tourism. The theme for Del Marva Life today is art in Ocean City. So why not start with pieces depicting life in Ocean City. These stunning works are done by Randy Hoffman and you'll find them in the Roland E. Powell Convention Center. That's right. And honestly, the video, it's not going to do them justice. You have to see the detail and the color up close for yourself. And I got a chance to chat with Randy about what inspires him to create. To me, it's like the ideal little family. For artist Randy Hoffman, every scene has a story. She's so happy to be loving the little baby falling asleep on her. And then their little girl, uh, I, I said, the only thing I staged, look, put the ear, put that uh, seashell to your <laughs> head. So it's like that little yeah. joke about listen to the ocean. I thought that'd be cute. Yeah. But then the dad and all of a sudden struck up this pose talking to his son. And it, it made sense all of a sudden where here's the narrative. Yeah. Uh, it takes, it takes uh, both parents to raise a kid. And all of his paintings in the Roland E. Powell Convention Center in Ocean City chronicle different situations and seasons of life here. Maybe this is their last swim together and he's encouraging her to go out into the water and she seems a little reluctant. This majestic museum of Ocean City life, if you will, came about through Rena Thaler of the Art League of Ocean City. It was her suggestion and Randy ran with it. For me, it's a great opportunity to showcase the work. And so that's why I'm making custom in situ, custom made for the each spot. You know, a perfect painting like works with the rug color. And, uh, you know, if you redecorate the place, I'm in trouble. Uh, and the wall color and, and the, the scale of the room and stuff. You might recognize Randy as the sand sculpture star over the years. He's well known for what he can build on the beach. He loved art from the moment he got his first applause. I can remember this moment and going, I like this. Look, I get to do a painting and I got to show it to my mom, you know, and get some kudos for it. I didn't know that word back then, but that's what it was. And uh, I thought that's a nice little one two punch here. That's a little thing going on here. So nothing's changed except I'm just on a bigger scale now. He's not kidding. Walk through the convention center and you'll be taken aback by how big these paintings are. And how bright. I don't know, it's just maybe I got more cones and rods in my eyes or something that just the color talks to me a lot. And out of those conversations with color come compositions like this. But at first it was like, oh, look at the exotic sea creature on the beach. And then I realized they were starting to look at the other exotic sea creature on the beach, <laughs> the young lady here. So those who come to the convention center from away can get a sample of life on the shore. This is what is happening outside, families and your families, your kids want you to go out and swim in the ocean with them. I remember the last time I swam with my dad. And uh, it, was a, it was a nice swim, you know, in the ocean. He was an old guy, he probably told me, but uh, I knew, wow, this is rare where we were younger, it'd be more often. Randy grew up visiting this area, and that's why he decided to move here. It was a conscious decision as a young man to go, where am I going to spend the rest of my life? And I thought, Ocean City, what a beautiful town. A beautiful town with fascinating people, like the late former mayor Roland E. Powell. Fish to most folks. I think it was a perfect blend of a blue-collar guy and a white-collar guy. The blue-collar, he was a shipboat captain. And, uh, and then the, the white collar, you know what I mean? It's like he's a working man. You can see it in his hand in the portrait of it that I did. Um, you could tell he was a waterman. So the, the, this building's named after Fish Pal. Which calls for a portrait of him to go with the plaque. Randy did this off a photograph. He must be at a city council meeting, and I've never been in a city council meeting, but he's up on the podium kind of, you know, they take a couple hours and he's kind of daydreaming, thinking, well, somebody must have said something very funny. Because Fish is holding a pen to his head, and, he's, and, he, and this is what I think he's thinking. He's thinking, well, I can't go, wait to go home and tell Ginny the crazy things they're talking about here. And he's just, he, his eyes are sparkling, laughing, you know? And he's, you can see him repressing a smile. He's just trying to be polite and professional. You won't be able to stop the sentiments you feel when seeing these works. And why would you want to? The paintings are talkative. Some, but some of the paintings like downstairs are just the calmness of uh, a flat horizon and little tiny waves coming on the beach. What's that telling you? The story there is, it's so peaceful. 
We're not bombarding you. This is so gentle. You can do your own thing. You can calm down. Where some of the stories, the narrative is so strong. It's like, okay, okay, it's too much. You're, you're overwhelming me. See? So you've got to find whatever mood you're in and try to, like a smorgasbord, have a variety of, of attitudes in the paintings. Attitudes, adventures, and ages. It seemed a finale to uh, you start your life playing on the beach in Ocean City and you can end your life in Ocean City. And in his art, you'll find your autobiography. Ocean City was there during Outstanding pieces of art and it's just so hard to pick a favorite. And he's not even done. I was talking to him as we're walking through the convention center. This guy is pointing out certain walls and he's like, ooh, I gotta cover that wall with something. I've gotta do that here. This Like he just is like always creating in his mind. So, so, so cool. he knows kind of what he's wanting to Yeah, yeah. You know? Amazing. Love it.